Hello everybody, welcome to uh, Troy Future Expat. Uh, doing a quick video here. Show off my peonies. They're in full bloom now. I wish you could smell them. They're beautiful. And these are some red ones, but they're not quite ready yet. They're almost there. Then of course, I got my raspberries here. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but there are hundreds and hundreds of bees buzzing around in there. I think in about another uh, two or three weeks, the raspberries will be ready. Then I got my corn over here in this pot, I mean this bed, it's not doing too well. I thought it'd be way taller by now, but I planted it from seed. We'll see how it goes. And then my red currant berries. I don't know if you can see those. They turn bright red when they're ripe. They taste pretty good, they're a little tart. And that is my Salash summer peach. Of course, I won't see peaches on this until maybe next year. I got potatoes growing in here too. They're just ones that I missed and they started growing again. So I gotta get them out of there because that's not where they belong. Here's my plum tree. A Santa Rosa plum, it's called. It's finally got some plums on it. I think I counted about six of them. There's one there. I can't remember where they all went. They're so hard to see. Because they're green right now. Oh, there's another one right there. <clears throat> Those are my maple trees. And I got some more. These are planters I made the other day. <coughs> Out of uh, scrap plywood that I got for free from uh, this tractor place down the road. They come on big pallets and stuff. And these are some more potatoes. And these things are huge, man. They're on that stand, but in this pot they're about two and a half, three feet tall, some of them. And then I got more potatoes over here again, and some tomato starts. They aren't doing any good at all, I'm going to just throw them away. There's some potatoes in here, some potatoes in here, some potatoes in there. And another peony bush, which is almost ready to bloom. This year they didn't grow that good. I don't know if we cut them back too soon. I think that's what happened. There's a foxglove. Hummingbirds love those. I had two. This one grew back. The other one didn't. It was right there. <coughs> of course, these are more of my wife's roses. Those all grew from sticks, by the way, those cutoffs. And then this purple bush, I don't know what it's called, I forgot. <clears throat> but it's blooming like crazy. And there are bees all over this bad boy, too. I mean, there's thousands and hundreds of them at least. <clears throat> and then another one. Yeah, eat your heart out, Brian. I got hundreds of bees, different varieties, too. Look at them all. There's mason bees there, bumblebees, honeybees. There's a mason bee right there. I think. Oh, he just took a dump. Actually, that might be a honeybee. And then some more of my wife's roses. And the thing's about almost six feet tall. 
this one died she cut it back too far and then one more red one and some other plants and another red a yellow rose over there but it's almost done blooming and there's the pile of my free wood I got still I'm not gonna uncover it all because it rains here all the time so I got it covered up yeah just finishing mowing the lawn but my wife wants me to cut some peonies so I wanted to get a picture of it oh and there he is ladies and gentlemen the shagster the shagmeister shaggy say hi hi buddy And then I'll show you my cherry trees again. I think by next summer, next spring, I'll have some cherries on it. It's getting pretty tall now. Supposedly they're dwarfs, but I'm cutting the tops of the branches off so it just goes sideways instead of up and down because it's so hard to get them when they're tall. And. My lilacs, I didn't get a chance to video them this year because A, it was mostly raining and then when it was sunny, I was too busy at work. Here's my Granny Smith apple tree. That's some baby apples right there. There's hundreds and hundreds of them. Then another view of my uh, raspberries from this side. I got some kind of cauliflower or broccoli in here. I'm not sure which one it is, but some of them started growing pretty good and the other ones didn't grow too good. Those ones grew all right, but then these little ones over here, they didn't do so hot. I don't even know if you can see it, the sun shining on my camera screen, so. Then over here, Got my red, red delicious apple tree. I'll take you around the way here to show you. That's my asparagus pit. I mean pit, but it got overrun with weeds. But that's okay. I already got all the asparagus out of it. Oh, my ticket back. There's one more right there. And one more right there. And a little skinny one. But anyway, these are what Red Delicious look like when they're babies. There's some more there. And then the neighbor lady's plum tree, which is growing with my apple tree. I don't know if you can see the plums way up there. I'm trying to zoom in without making the camera too big. There they are right there. We can see them. Right there. But anyway, that's about it. That's the back of the old hacienda. There's Shaggy again. He's making his patrol looking for room rats. I don't know where they came from, but there's all kinds of rats living over there. Well, I know they're in that neighbor's house, the blue one there, and then they sneak in my yard, burrow under that shed thing there. I could show you my wife's other roses. Oh, yes. The pineapple experience. That's not working out too well. Too rainy and too cold. The wife loves pineapples, so she cut the tops off and then I tried planting them. They got a little rich growing on them, but it's not going anywhere. And then my blueberry trees. 
bushes. Oh, there's some blueberries coming up right there. I don't know if you can see that. Right there they are. There's some more there. Nice. I got one cucumber there. Another blueberry again. And then my wife's roses. And that's about it, folks. And one more picture of the apinis before we cut them off. Look at the size of that bee in there. Can you see him? He's huge. Look at him. That's a monster. Anyways, I wish you guys could smell how nice these smell. Anyway, this is Troy, Future Expat, signing off. Thanks for watching, and hello to everybody that I watch on YouTube. All right, take care, and God bless. Bye.